This is a story that touched me years ago, so it was really important for me to show everything that I felt when I first read it, but also to convey all these developments that came over the years. The original story is really simple, and there's almost no dialogue. Death comes and says, are you ready? And then the two of them have the same exchange as in the film before exchanging their place. All the other dialogue was my take, because I believe that the viewer needed a bit more time to get attached to the characters. I wanted to make the viewer feel that no, it's not the first time they meet. And yes, they both have history. They both know how it's gonna go, but there's so much more behind it. Even though I didn't explicitly explain the backstory, I wanted the viewer to understand that the young lady decided to end it, that to die. She symbolically committed suicide. And she knew that it wasn't her death that she was causing, but her friends. Imagining death as a as a person, not only as a as a character or as something to be used to frighten people. The character of death is an immortal who is denied their own life. She loves to grow old and watch everyone around her die and meet, and meet their fate. So the moment in which she 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 decides to leave her job to the uh, to the young lady, it's an incredible moment for her because she can finally rest. And for those few seconds when you can see her still alive on the floor, in her mind it must be like, I'm finally living now. <laughs> 